Hello, this tutorial will show you how to set up BenchView for remote access. This is a great way to teach instrumentation basics without having to lug instruments into the lecture hall and can also be used by students to remotely access lab experiments that they may not have had time to finish during regular class time. All that's required is an always-on lab station and connection to the internet. Let's start by setting up an I.O. server that will be physically connected to our bench instruments and connect them to the internet. The setup requires Keysight I.O. Library Suite software. This free software can be downloaded from the Keysight website at the address shown or simply search for I.O. Libraries as shown here. After installing I.O. Library Suite, the next step is to connect your instruments to the PC. Here we have a DMM, oscilloscope, function generator, and power supply all connected to a USB hub. The power supply is connected to a USB to GPIB adapter. Now let's start Connection Expert, which was installed as part of the I.O. Library Suite. Notice that it automatically finds all instruments it can see on LAN, USB, and GPIB. By clicking the Favorites icon, only the instruments we want to use are shown. Take note of the SICL address that was assigned to these devices, in this case USB 0 and GPIB 1. The next step is to enable the Remote I.O. Server. Click Settings, then Remote I.O. Server Options. Now check the top box to enable the remote I.O. server. Check the second box to automatically start the server when the PC starts up. We can now accept these changes and close Connection Expert. We will also need to know the IP address of this PC, which we can get by running a command prompt and typing ipconfig. The IPv4 address is usually the one we want. Save this address. Now let's set up the PC on which we want to run BenchView, which must be connected to the Internet. First we'll start up Connection Expert on this PC. Click Manual Configuration, then Add New Instruments and Interfaces, then Remote USB Interface. Notice that on this PC the name of the Visa interface will be USB 1, and the TCP IP interface ID will be TCP IP 0. Leave these as is. Under Specify Connection Information, enter the IP address of the PC that you saved earlier. The SICL interface name will be the USB port that you saved. In our case, it's USB 0. Repeat this procedure for any GPIB or serial devices. For our power supply, we can leave the top section as is and enter our remote PC's IP address and GPIB port. Now when we go back to the Instruments tab, our favorites will be shown automatically and we see all of our remote instruments as if they were local. Now let's start BenchView. We now see all the remote instruments in the instrument bar and we can use them just as if they were here with us. These instruments can be enabled to start automatically by right clicking on each of them and selecting the auto start option. Another handy thing to do is to point the webcam in the PC at the attached instruments and enable it via Skype or other remote viewing software. Then you can see the remote instruments at the same time you are controlling them. Great, now we've got all four instruments started. Let's look at them using the quad view where you can control all instruments at the same time. We've shown how you can access Keysight instruments remotely over the internet using BenchView. Thanks for listening.